Hello, before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload new videos. Keep watching until the end of the video to see the interior shots, exterior shots and the full review. It's no coincidence that the RX is one of the best-selling luxury SUVs in America, and the RX 450h, specifically, one of the top luxury hybrid SUVs. It's a benchmark of quality, comfort and consistency. Changes for 2020 appear minor but are significant enough to keep the RX near the front of the luxury pack. The RX doesn't generate the kind of adrenaline rush of some of its rivals, but it has everything you need in equal amounts. The RX is Lexus' most popular crossover. Sized for family use, it is available as a two-row SUV or a three-row SUV, in both hybrid and gas engine-only configurations. The 450h is the two-row version, with a hybrid powertrain consisting of a 3.5-litre V6 engine that provides a total of 308 horsepower. This particular RX is only available with all-wheel drive. The RX is one of today's best-selling luxury SUVs. It's Lexus top earner and outsells all of the brand's passenger cars combined. If it wore a Toyota badge, it would be the automaker's eighth best-selling model, behind the Tundra pickup. The standard RX 350 competes with a wide variety of luxury SUVs, ranging from smaller offerings such as the Acura RDX and the Audi Q5 to midsizes Mercedes-Benz GLE and BMW X5. The RDX and the Q5 present distinctly more sporting attitudes, while the GLE and the X5 turn up the luxury an extra notch. As a luxury hybrid SUV, the RX 450h has the class nearly to itself. Its closest competitor is the Volvo XC60 T8, which is significantly more powerful but also significantly more expensive. Acura also sells a hybrid version of its bigger MDX SUV, though it focuses more on performance than efficiency. Thanks to a stiffer body structure and revised suspension settings, the RX's handling has a little more bite and immediacy changing direction when setting up for quick turns. It's a subtle change aided by the RX's new torque vectoring system, which breaks the inside wheel during cornering to keep the RX on its line. Fundamentally, the RX's dynamic character isn't altered. The RX hasn't morphed into an Audi Q5 or even an Acura RDX. And that's okay, knife-edge handling has never been the RX's bag, and we think it's far more valuable for its smooth and absorbent ride. Surprisingly, the RX 450h is the better driver compared to the gas engine-only model. The 450h's low center of gravity, courtesy of its floor-mounted battery pack, gives it impressive cornering stability. And its dual electric motors assist the V6 with seamless power delivery. It's odd to recommend a hybrid as the superior choice, but Lexus has shown uncanny skill at making the most of its fuel-sipping models. There are no changes to the RX 450h's interior for 2020. It retains its high level of quality upholstery, cabin accents and seat comfort. The arrival of a touchscreen infotainment display is an important update. You're no longer confined to Lexus' awkward trackpad, what it calls remote touch interface, to find your songs, work the navigation or place a call. The display is available in 8 and 12 inch versions, and it's moved more than 5 inches closer to front passengers for an easier reach. The RTI doesn't deserve the abuse it's suffered from automotive writers. But its adherence to rigid horizontal and vertical scrolling is at odds with the fluid movements we expect from trackpads. It makes sense, of course, a car hurtling down the highway at 70 miles per hour is no place for a wandering cursor. But it typically ends in a stiff and frustrating experience. The RTI is still there if you want it, but the touchscreen is a nice redundancy that we expect most drivers will prefer. That you can now also use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with the new touchscreen is a bonus. Amazon Alexa skills are also integrated into the updated system. The RX remains as practical as ever. This roomy SUV seats five passengers in luxurious comfort. And tech updates for 2020 make it better integrated and more connected, specifically the addition of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone interfaces. Cargo space remains smaller than some rivals, though. If you routinely need to carry large loads, some of the RX's competitors might be a better fit. Most of the RX's visible changes are relatively minor. There are some new interior and exterior colors, a couple of new wheel designs, revised head and taillights, and an improved infotainment interface. The most significant changes go unseen. 
Under the sheet metal, the updated RX benefits from hundreds of laser welds in the side pillars, floor pan, rear crossmember, and other strategic structural points.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.